Hey you guys, so it is Christmas Eve and I am prepping for our Christmas dinner. So I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can, but it's so hard to make cooking videos. I just find them very time consuming. You know, y'all know. Who so I am prepping the day before it's Christmas Eve. I'm prepping my cornbread. I'm going to make my stock and go ahead and of course with that stock shred up my chicken so I'm making dressing and I like to make the cornbread before so that it can stale out or dry out a little bit um y'all <sighs> disclaimer I am from the south I'm from East Texas uh, about 30 miles away from Louisiana a small town called Longview Texas that's how East I'm from so we like cooking from scratch you will not see me making Jiffy Cornbread mix for my dressing. You will not, not see me using chicken stock for my dressing because that's just not how we were raised to cook. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I just find that the taste is dramatically different when you actually do make your own stock. Anyway, um, so case in point, I make my cornbread from scratch using cornmeal. I use the... Uh, recipe on the back omitting the sugar you want to omit omit the sugar and that's the reason why I don't like to use mix because most of the the cornbread mixes already have sugar unless you like sweet dressing traditional dressing doesn't call for sugar but if you like sweet dressing then go ahead but one trick that I like to do for my dressing is I go ahead and I add my seasonings to it I add celery salt sage and black pepper I do not add salt because of course it's celery salt so i'm going to go ahead and make my cornbread dressing i'll show you guys what they look like like i said i make my chicken stock stock from scratch so in this stock pot here make sure this clears up i have one whole onion with the peel on the peel is actually what colors the stock i have two celery sticks two garlic cloves one carrot two bay leaves and pepper corn oh god y'all here he comes let me hurry up um what else what else peppercorn no salt in my chicken stock it will simmer for minimum five hours if i have time i'll let it go for eight hours simmer on low so i will come back and show you what that looks like here in a second all right you guys i am back and this is going to look funny because i turned my camera now sideways anyway this is the chicken it's gone in and it's going to simmer like i said minimum five hours or until it literally falls off the bone. What you want to do is, well, you know when you get that brown stuff on top of your broth, you want to skim that off because that's toxic. Uh, those are toxins. Unless, of course, unless, of course, you're using organic chicken, then that could be okay. You may still want to take off uh, much of it. Here is my cornbread dressing. It's going to go in the oven here oh, soon. Michelle. You want to say hi, baby? What are you doing? You need to get down. Look at him. Look at him. So what you're going to see me do is I'm about to whip some heavy cream. And that's going to make whipping cream, basically. I'm going to add to that. This is only a fourth of a cup of sugar. Then I have some cream cheese on the stove that's melting. Yeah, excuse him. Um, half of a lemon and some vanilla. Now, over here, you see my chicken stock. You can see the fat has basically solidified on the top. Uh, Jewish people call this schmelz. I believe it's called schmelz, schmelz, and they actually add this to their uh, matzo ball soup. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim that off, and I'm going to saute my vegetables in there. Um, this is the red velvet cake I plan on making. Yeah, boo boo is eaten. This is my cornbread that's sitting out, and these are the only vegetables that's going in. Now, I did shred up some chicken. Uh, we we had chicken in the soup, so I shredded up. That's probably two cups of shredded up chicken that's going in the dressing so yes y'all when i real quick let me show y'all we went to ulta y'all have to excuse this we went to ulta and my man bought me my christmas gift so i got the naked basics by urban decay i wanted the whole naked palette but they were all out um and that's what i was looking for but they didn't have any so i just got this and they had the naked two basics but this is fine um these are the colors and i'm actually gonna do another video because i ordered a lot of stuff online to show y'all but it was so sweet of him he always gives me whatever i want all right y'all i'm done with my icing this is the consistency um it's too thick i'm gonna add some milk to it to make it a little bit to thin it out just a little bit 
it is not sweet at all. That fourth of a cup of sugar didn't do just about anything. Normally when you make uh, a cream cheese powdered sugar icing, it literally calls for three cups of powdered sugar. I don't want that much. I don't want three to four cups. I want at least a half of a cup in here. So while I'm at the store, while I'm at, Jesus, while I'm at the store, I'm going to get some powdered sugar. And I may take while I'm in CVS. Y'all, it is 7.20. I know that Albertsons is closed. Um, he's like, who are you talking to? Albertsons is closed. Walgreens may be open. I'm not going to Walgreens. I may have to. Um, so there's a CVS that they built by us not too long ago. I'm going to go there. I am so tired. I've been up since, for some reason, I've been getting up at 3 o'clock a lot. But I do go to bed at um, <laughs> 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So I'm getting, what, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 6 hours, 6 to 7 hours. Let me turn that down, y'all. I know y'all can't see me. I'm short. I'm only 5, 3 and a quarter. Girl, I'm 5'3", but <laughs> most people think I'm taller. You'll be surprised how short people are. I was actually, for some reason, CVS is closed. Why am I going to get some powder? I know, baby. Why am I going to get some powder sugar? Y'all hear him? Why am I going to get some powder sugar? And more importantly, why am I going to get some vodka? I mean, tequila. Y'all, I'm gonna have to go to Walmart. I hate Walmart. Let me do a slow drive by. They sure are closed. Well, it is Jesus' birthday. Maybe, maybe they're park. Maybe the people who work there are parked in the back. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it is Christmas. They don't open till ten. We gonna find a place, baby. I know you' about tired of me. Um, I'm not going to Walmart, so I'm gonna pan around the other way and go to Walgreens. I'm gonna turn the camera on. Are you guys wear the stoplight? So I had to turn decided to turn the camera back on. What, baby? Um. Yeah, so I've been yeah I've been off. See, uh, Walgreens is right around the corner. I've been off. Uh, I was off yesterday, and of course today since it's Christmas. But I was so confused yesterday because I could check my email on my phone, and I noticed that I kept getting new emails. I thought it was in my personal, and it's my work email. People are still answering emails and working. Yesterday, I was like, no, it's a holiday, a company holiday. I'm, I'm not working. Answering emails, especially my other co worker, uh, he's new, he doesn't know about my channel, so I can talk about him. I wouldn't care anyway. I'm, I'm like that, y'all. He is so he's one of those men that complains a lot. Some child, he was complaining the other day. I was like, Girl, girl, I want to say, Girl, shut up. I, Y'all, I'm in my man's car. I oh, I see one car. Oh my goodness, is there hope? Hey, man! I'm sorry, baby. My baby's used to me, y'all. Okay, baby, mom's gonna get you. Nobody trying to get no twisted sister, honey. This is the dressing. It was um, it cooked for about thirty five minutes on three sixty five. You can see how moist it is. I got my fork here because I'm about to taste some because I'm greedy. Mmm, you want some, Alex? Oh, this is so good. This is really moist. I'm going to have to taste a little bit more because you never know. You know, I'm going to taste a little bit more on this side because you just got to be sure. 
earlier. These are my cakes. Now, I know someone's going to say, she said she cooked from scratch, but she used a Bach cake mix. Yes, yes, I did. But don't, don't think that I can't make red velvet from scratch because I can. It's just that everything that I've been cooking is pretty much from scratch. So I decided to do a box cake mix. They did not have powdered sugar when I went to, um, uh, what did I go to? Y'all, I went everywhere. Y'all saw those videos. I went to Walgreens. So what did I end up doing? And I'll show you. Um, I end up making caramel sauce, which is very, very simple to make. Um, oh yeah, I made some cranberry sauce too. I'll take that out in a second. So I need to go ahead and put this in a Ziploc bag and put it away, but I'll just show you what the caramel sauce looks like. I made caramel sauce, which is basically just brown sugar, butter, and, um, whipping cream. So you can see what that looks. Oh my God, y'all look at that. Caramel sauce. You're supposed to add vanilla to it um, and powdered sugar if you want a little bit of, not powdered sugar. I'm sorry, y'all. It, it X that out. Um, but yeah, this is how you make caramel sauce. So what I did is uh, that cream cheese whipped cream icing just wasn't, wasn't sweet, sweet enough. I um, mean, with the lemon, it tastes more lemony than anything. So I added maybe three tablespoons of the caramel sauce to the icing. Um, and this is the icing I put in the fridge. You really can't see that. Can y'all see that now? Um, and I made some cranberry sauce. When you make cranberry sauce, you know, why is this lemon doing it? It's so simple. All I did was take a package of cranberries, a cinnamon stick, lemon juice, orange juice, and you can hear the cranberries pop. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, you keep stirring that up and then you refrigerate it and it'll turn to this like jelly. And it's so good. It's so good. All right, you guys, I am done. It took me, it's one o'clock. It took me all this time to make everything. So here we have our roasted carrots. Well, now it's getting blurry. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see if I can make it. There we go. We have our roasted carrots and potatoes, yams. We have our, uh, Cornish game hen. You can see how juicy it is. I mean, you can literally see it. Look at that. Done already. Yeah, look, it's falling off the bow. Yeah, so um, very juicy, juicy, juicy. Here's that cranberry sauce I told you about. You can see how it's turned into a, a basically like a jam. Um, here's my struggle <laughs> gravy. The reason I call it a struggle is when I first put it in, it literally went to here. I'm like, you know what? Let me make some more gravy. So I made this off of that chicken stock and the pan drippings from here, uh, from the hens. Here is my dressing. Yes. And last but not least, only thing I didn't put into anything fancy smancy is my corn because I wanted to keep it in uh, the cast iron skillet. That is it, y'all. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.